Solar power is huge for any kind of emergency situation because we know that the power of the sun is easy to harness, doesn't require storage, and it is silent. But getting into the solar power generator game can be very expensive. So in this video, let's compare a budget friendly entry level solar power station from EcoFlow to a DIY solar generator that you could build yourself. And let's talk about the pros and the cons, the costs involved, and whether or not it's even worth building your own when things like this are on the market right now. Hey everybody, it's Magic Prepper, and today we're talking about DIY solar generators versus budget-friendly entry-level power stations that you can get from manufacturers right now like EcoFlow. Now, what is the benefits and what are the cons to actually building your own solar generator versus just buying something from a manufacturer? Well, that's what we're going to discuss in today's video. However, to get everything started, I do need to mention that EcoFlow is a big supporter of this channel. And when I talked to them about wanting to expand on solar generator content, I wanted them to understand that people need a budget-friendly option, that not everybody can afford crazy expensive solar power units. So we came to the conclusion that their River Mini model, which is the one we're going to be talking about today is a great way to get in the door when it comes to solar power and having a power station on you and having something you can almost take anywhere so I wanted to go ahead and get that out of the way to let you know that yes they sent me this unit they do support the channel and I want you to know that because right now during their Christmas sale you can get the River Mini for $259 it really has a strong competition when it comes to going up against something like a DIY unit. And there will be links down below in the description as well as in the pinned comment for EcoFlow so you can check out what they have to offer right now. They have a lot of really good sales going on. Anything you buy through those links is gonna to go to support this channel. And like I said, there's a ton of other power stations they have available for a huge discount right now. For example, right now during EcoFlow's Christmas sale, you can get the Delta Power Station, which is an awesome power station I already did a review on. I'll link that video up here if you want to check it out. But you get the Delta unit with two of their folding 110 watt solar panels for $1,499, which is about a $700 discount. You will need the Solar MC4 parallel connection cable if you want to be able to connect these solar panels together in order to get maximum charging within the unit. That's another $19. And this unit has an 18 100 watt output with a 3300 watt surge, a 1260 watt hour capacity, and it can charge with these panels in around 10 hours, which is pretty quick. Not to mention you also have the ability to charge it from the wall as well as from your car. Now, 1500 bucks is a lot of money, especially for a lot of us here in the community. So if $1,500 is not your cup of tea, that's why I want to talk about the River Mini, which is EcoFlow's entry-level budget-friendly power station. And that's why we're going to compare that to a DIY build-out to see if it's really worth doing DIY anymore or if these new entry-level budget-friendly power stations are actually better than what you can put together yourself. So let's check that out and see what you might prefer. All right, so what are the specs of the River Mini? Why is it something you might want to consider buying? Well, at $259 right now, which is 90 bucks off, it's definitely a good deal. You get two AC outlets, three USB outlets, one 12 volt car outlet, and it has a 300 watt output, as well as 600 watts of surge capability. The battery inside gives you 210 watt hours of battery life, which is equivalent to running something at about 20 watts for 10 hours. So it's basically how that math works for that. And it has a one year shelf life. So if you fully charge it and leave it on the shelf, it should be good for up to a year. It will charge up to 80% within one hour when you use the wall charging unit. So that is awesome. And that gets you really you know, up and going quickly in case anything bad ever happens. If there's an emergency, you don't have to wait for the sun to charge this thing. Now, something else to consider is that this is really only meant for things like small electronics, laptops, TVs, fans, lights. This isn't a heavy equipment or a large appliance power station. That's not what it's meant for. It's meant to be able to be portable at 6.3 pounds, which I do think it is. And at the same time, it's made to be able to utilize all the small gadgets and gear you would want to use at like a campsite or a bug out location. And it'll keep things up and running for you in your home if this is your only option. So it does have a lot of capability in that sense. Now, you will need an MC4 to XT60 solar cable if you want to plug this into a solar panel. This only comes with the 
power cable for plugging it into the wall, the unit itself, and the manual. So you, if you want to use solar with it, you're going to need to buy that cable. It's another $20 on EcoFlow's website. But what's nice about this unit is that even if you only buy it for the sense of having like a backup power station or a power bank of some kind, it's very efficient at that. And then, like I said, an 80% full charge in one hour is definitely uh, something that's hard to laugh at, right? So what I will say is that this unit can do a lot for how inexpensive it is. But, you know, how does it add up compared to the DIY solar generator? Well, let's take a look at that and kind of see what their differences are. All right, so how does the DIY solar generator stack up against the EcoFlow River Mini? They have about equal capabilities, which makes for a good comparison, but obviously this one had to be assembled by me. So if you're not very handy, this might not be the best option. But either way, they have some similar specs. So first off, you're gonna need the marine battery box, you're gonna need the 400 watt power inverter, and you're gonna need a charge controller. And when you add that all together, as well as with the cables required to get everything connected, it runs about $150 in total, okay? And then you have to have the battery. So inside of here is a 12 volt, 35 amp hour rechargeable lead acid deep cycle battery. And that battery is about $70. Now, if you wanted to have the same exact efficiency and shelf life of an EcoFlow product, you'd have to get a lithium ion battery. But that's gonna run you between three or $400, which changes the entire comparison at that point in time when you're talking about budget. Plus, those batteries would have about a 100 amp hour rating, so you'd get a lot more time with the battery. But the issue is, is that it's a lot more expensive. So this keeps everything in around that same budget level, but you will have to, suffer through having a lead acid deep cycle battery instead of something with lithium ion. Now, that battery puts it at about a 420 watt hour rating, whereas the EcoFlow is at a uh, 210 watt hour. But like I said, it's all differences based on, you know, budget and capability and everything else related here. So the issue with this unit is that because of that battery and everything else we just talked about, it weighs 27 pounds not 6.3 like the EcoFlow. So yes, it's heavier, it's bulkier, it won't be as easy to transport. And after you add the battery, you're at about $220. Then you add the cables you're gonna need to be able to hook it up to a solar panel. That's another $20 and now we're at $240. So we're at a $20 price difference now for something that's much heavier, has to be assembled by yourself, doesn't have a factory warranty and doesn't come with a BMS system, which is basically a battery management system to make sure that it has controllers over the temperature, the currency, or any other safety factor that might go wrong. Also, an EcoFlow product is warrantied and this is not. So if that does happen, you're really out of luck, okay? The other thing to keep in mind is that this is a 100 watt solar panel. These run about $70. Um, obviously not as portable as the folding type panels that you can get from EcoFlow, but at the same time, you know, it's a lot more affordable and you're gonna need some kind of solar panel no matter which route you decide to take. So that cost doesn't really get incorporated here because it doesn't really make a difference. Now, like I said, this has a lot of the similar capabilities has a longer lasting battery in some ways, but the battery itself won't have as long of a life. And it does have about the same output with the 400 watt inverter. So at the end of the day, what are you really getting? Well, let's talk about the benefits of the EcoFlow River Mini. So that way you can understand why it's probably a better option for you than doing the DIY route at this point in time. All right, so let's talk about the benefits of getting something like the River Mini is over something like this DIY setup you have here. So first and foremost, like I said before, it has a lithium ion battery in it, which is longer lasting and more efficient. Obviously you can get one of those for the DIY system, but it's gonna cost a lot more money and put you in a whole different price tier, which is a different conversation at that point in time. This also has more charging options. You can utilize a wall charger, you can do solar charging, and you can do car charging as long as you get the right adapting cables. Whereas with the DIY solar unit over here, it's only really set up for solar power. Yes, you can get them set up to be able to be plugged into the wall as well, but now you're adding more cost and you're also adding more technical know-how, which you may or may not have. 6.3 pounds versus 27 pounds speaks for itself. No setup at all easy to use, very user friendly, lots of setup, and you gotta kinda know what you're doing and what you're plugging in and everything else or else you could have yourself some serious problems. And like I said before, this has the safety battery management system. This also has the EcoFlow River Mini, an app, and a lot of EcoFlow products do. And on the app, you can actually see how well your charge rate is going and what your output is and all kinds of stuff related to what this unit's doing utilizing your app. So. That is also a nice feature that you're not gonna be able to put onto a DIY system. Now, 
DIY, it has some benefits. Like on this system, I could eventually upgrade the battery. I could eventually add more batteries. Like in daisy chain, there's a lot of other things you can do and you can slowly build this out to be more and more capable. Whereas with standalone products, you have to buy the next bigger model if you decide you need more capability. So there are some benefits to DIY, but at the end of the day, for the price point we're talking at right now, like I said, this is about $240 total. And this was 259 right now while it's on sale. And for the $20 difference, this is gonna do a lot more for you in the long run, at least in my opinion. And that's definitely something you should be considering as uh, you know, a lot of us are probably only gonna use these in a power outage type situation versus you know, thinking about SHTF and stuff like that. A lot of people aren't gonna be taking these out to campsites and bug out locations and running off grid. Some of you might, and it can easily do that for you with your small electronics. But if you're only worried about emergencies and power outages and stuff like that, it's usually better off to go with something that is already ready to run, has a long shelf life, and is easy to use. And that's just my opinion. So hopefully this video gave you some things to think about. Make sure you check out EcoFlow's Christmas sale because it is a really good deal right now and it will help you be better prepared. And like I said before, there's links in the description as well as in the pinned comment. So that goes to support this channel as well as a company that's trying their best to put out products that are user friendly and budget friendly now at this point in time. If you have any questions for me at all, leave it in the comments below. And without anything else to say about solar backup power and manufacturer versus DIY, that's gonna be it for Magic Prep.